Hey, it's up traders. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, this much at least. Hope you're doing good. Today, we are going to look at our weekly forex outlook for the coming week, and I'm going to review our previous weekly analysis. So, tune in. Yeah, this was our previous weekly analysis. This is what I expected our market to do. And I made some money on this on this pair. I'm going to show you my entries in which I guess to enter my my positions. On this one, I took a sell. I took a sell on this one. I waited for market to come back with this here. I waited for more confirmation for for the push down ones. My stop loss was below, sorry above the structure. And aim for was aiming for my one two three. Then took me out on break even. This one, being honest, I didn't take this one, but I saw something on my, instead I took this one, I saw something on my MACD, I do use also MACD to analyze my market. I saw a divergence, it was a divergence. So I waited for market to push higher, higher to create another wave, a third wave. This is our time. I was one, two, three. Push higher, then I waited for momentum shooting downwards. Then I re-entered this this trail. My stop loss just above structure. I mean for my one. And check what happened. Did he might take profit? Yeah, I was moved out on break even. This one I didn't take it. I waited for a third wave because I saw a diverging. Yeah. Now let's analyze it. Analyze this pair. Currently, market is back on our level. Back on our level. What I'm expecting market to do next week is continue rally down. So I'm waiting to shut this pair next week. That's for the case of your USD. Let's go to next pair. This is our UG. This was perfect haul. Expected market to either reverse on this level to shoot higher or come back on this lower high and to continue moving higher. This is our entered my, my trade. I went on my 15 minutes time frame. As you see, market first rejected this, <coughs> first rejected this this support and it pushed down. But it respected this second support for the higher low. I waited for market to break this level. To break this level. But still didn't buy, we are still within this zone, this range. I waited for more confirmation. Market came up here, came back down here. Look, I look at this, this pattern. It was a double bottom. And it was a nice looking double bottom. So I entered this, 
I waited for some momentum for the bulls to show strength. I went for my one two three. Stop loss below this level bottom. Then I look for my one to three ratio. Do a risk to reward. And it did hit my take profit. But the move continued. I didn't take this one. But I saw something here. Mid exactly after it my take profit. Market came came back for correction, pushed higher, failed to break this level. Then it came back for retest on this and check this. At first it failed to break, came back, pushed higher, broke the level, aiming higher, making high high, coming back to retest this level. Again bouncing off, failing to break this level, coming back for your test and shooting here. But I didn't enter this market here. I waited for, for it to break. I waited for it to break this level. And I entered on this candle. It was a nice day for going long. I entered on this level. Handle. My store close below the structure and for my one to three. And for my one to three. Yeah. To have worth waiting for three to to hit my TP and that's how I entered this market first waited for this pattern the bottom waited for confirmation for bulls to enter the market to show strength I entered and again we entered on this level that's how I entered this market I left the other moves then we enter this market so let's analyze it for coming week. Um, here is our here is our level. This is our level, our support, and it looks like by the way double bottom. It broke our recent higher high and it broke back in. So this is the move. We haven't yet confirmed whether this is a higher low because it hasn't registered any higher high. I will be waiting for this market to shoot higher, break this level, come back for retest, then I continue to long. Or it may simply come for a double top here to drop back to this level. Thankfully, this market is not that clear to predict. I'll be waiting for. I'll be waiting for what I'm showing you here to enter this market. So that is my weekly analysis for UG. Let's see other pair. This is our GJ. Yeah, look at our previous previous analysis. I thought for this pair to find high at times to push back up because of this momentum but it didn't find any difficulties and look at this move being honest I didn't buy this pair I 
being bad. I didn't do anything about this. Instead, I waited for it to shoot back here on this level. And I targeted this, this level and the other one. But it went through this level and went back here to high, our highs. And I, like, like enough, I saw something. Sorry. I saw something on my 30 minutes time frame. When I'm trading, I check all time frames to see whether I see any spots or opportunities to take. And this is what I saw on my time frame, my that time frame. And I missed this move, by the way. I missed this one. Market reversed, pushed higher, broke, broke back this, broke to this level. Sorry, broke through this level, came back for it just and people trying. I know it took some opportunity on this one, it's low. But me, what I did, instead I shot this pair. I saw divergence on this pair. I saw divergence. But I use MACD for divergence. Check here it was forming. Higher highs, but here it is recording. Higher lows. My divergence started on this one. Up here. And check this. Instead it was recording higher highs. This is how I trade my divergence. I can't do waves. One more wave from the one that has created the emergence, this one. Then I wait for another one. I look for, I wait for, I wait for opposite momentum against the trend. But at first I was stopped out. I first entered here on this one, this candle. And my stop just below and aiming for my one to three. And you see, I was stopped out. That was a loss. I decided to enter this market on this on this move here. I re-entered on this fund. Sorry. I entered in this candle here. My stop loss still about structure. Then I looked for my one to three. My one to three. Yeah. Okay, I was very keen. I didn't bring the stop loss very close to my highs instead pushed it some a bit higher than the structure then I look for my one to three I look for my one to three for so if you don't you're not well versed with how to how to trade divergence you can check my and go and look under how to trade divergence like a pro. I saw divergence on this pair one, two, as you see, it was recording higher lows. Sorry, lower, lower highs, it was recording higher, higher highs. I wait for my third wave to short divergence hold to long it, and this was my entry on my third wave. That's how I kill that. Made a loss, then I will have a bit. That's the bit about risk reward ratio. Now let's analyze this pair. What I'm expecting for next week. Mm, for this pair, 
It's your level. Yeah, it's one level. This is right here. This level is very really hard to see. And now, I'm expecting this player either to bounce off this, this support to go back to this resistance or to break your break your retest, then continue down. Uh, that's for the case of GG. This is our EG. EG pair. For this one, nothing happened. I didn't trade. I didn't trade this pair. It was complete what I expected. It didn't show anything. And I wasn't I wasn't ready to buy it and those who bought it make some money like if you go below scroll down sorry you you scale down to your lower time frames this is what happened still a nice double bottom it broke back to this level then started ranging Trend sometime. Some I think bought this double bottom. Others we bought a breakout. This was a nice one to buy. Waiting for it to break this level. Let's zoom in. Waiting for it to break this level. Breaking this level, then buy outbreak. Stop loss, loss, short shot. Then you go for your one to three. But I usually take one to two, but most of the trades I took were divergent, and I take one to three. On divergences, I don't take one to two because their moves are usually very huge to take one to two. So those who shot this, who sorry, who took a long on this pair, who knew, who followed this analysis, waiting for a breakout or buying a double bottom. Either you bought this level here, but it was risky to buy. Very risky. The odds were. Not that favorable to buy it because we are within our range and it more it would have acted like a fake out and break below again the structure. So all of all the parties made money. Whether I bought this level or you bought the breakout, made money. Let's see. Let's analyze for the next week. Let's look for our levels. First market drop down, came back here. We have any level here? Let me see. We have one here. This is one. And check market is reacting on it. And we have one here. And the other. Is around this level, yeah. What I'm expecting this market to do to drop down back here on this level. So I wait for what I'll be waiting for market to do here to break this level. So it has failed to break clearly this level.
it has failed to break this level or else it will come back for you just again if I double bottom sorry double top then to drop to sell down so my bias on this pair is bearish I won't be looking for long it's not until it goes back this is on higher that's for the case of EJ this is our GK uh, this one <laughs> this one I didn't bother looking at it very 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 tricky I didn't initiate any order on this one being honest but what I'm expecting for it to do here these are our levels one is here which was broken and then the color then bounce back in this is our support I'll be expecting this pair come back here for it for it is then bounce back higher those who trade GA and let's first see our bias market bias is bullish come back here for it is then look for longs or L's continue move down then we just then move push down by being honest this one no 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 I remove it even on my watch list I didn't trade this is our GU. Yeah, 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 yeah. For this one, I didn't buy it, buy. I waited for for it to come back to this level, then short, and I did short it. And I used this time frame. Short. I waited it for for pushing higher back to this level. As I told you, some of sometimes the retest is not that accurate back to the structure. This one just yeah, this one tested. And I initiated my shot here. My stop loss just above structure. I was looking for my one to three, but I don't hold trades over the weekend. So I moved out with a one to seven risk evaluation. I just I just so it was a one to yeah approximately to one to two but it didn't take it didn't hit my take profit had I'd planned a one to three it didn't hit my take profit so I just cancelled it with some profits not some but huge profits and this is what I'm looking at next week I'm expecting this market to do these are our levels I'm expecting it to continue down here. Sorry, continue down here. So I'm bearish on this one. I wait for some nice price action in my lower time frame. I will re enter short positions. That's for the case of GU. And you, and you, and you, and you. This one I didn't trade it. I expected it to continue down, but it didn't. It didn't continue, and I wanted to buy a retest to sell a retest here. Uh, I just left it 
I didn't bother. But let me see. Let's analyze this market. It has bounced on this level. There is our other level. And this is our level here. Yeah, I'm looking at these most recent levels, our recent structure. Same with this pair as EU, GEO. I'm looking, I'll be looking for shorts. No, I'm expecting this market to drop back down here, to drop down. Or come back to still for it is I'm bearish on this NU pair. That's my analysis. This is our AU. For AU, it tried to work out as I had expected. And I did short this pair. And it removed me on break even. I did short this pair and I was on break even. Come back for it as you see here and it didn't continue to fall down or drop. Instead it fell, it fell, it formed a higher high. Sorry, higher low. Continue to move up. So basically on this one I go I was out on break even. I used lower time frame to enter this market. This one didn't go as planned. Let's see for the coming week what we shall be expecting. Yeah, our levels. Yeah, uh, our levels. One is here. Let me see what I have here. One is here still. Mine, uh, mine uh, level. And our major one is still. While I'm expecting this market, do look at this huge rejection. This was a nice entry if you would hold throughout the weekend. Expecting it to push, sorry, to, yeah, to push more down. This could be a nice entry. Stop loss above your structure. Aim back for this level. If I want to three, yeah, I'll be expecting this market to continue push down or come back here, then continue up, come back to this higher low, higher low, then to continue to push higher. As for the case of AU. Now, this is our AG. AG. Same with the G, GJ. Sorry, sorry. This one. Still, I didn't, I didn't finish it in order here. Yeah? But there was a nice buying opportunity. Let's first remove all these. That's a nice buying opportunity. Mm. 
it pushed higher came up then consolidated what I was waiting for if I had I was looking for for trades but I waited for it to break this level this coming a uh, higher higher high then go move down to my 15 minutes I look down on my our time frames as you see here it broke out pumped up and I always wait for closing candles and this was a huge move up the problem will be looking for we have to place your stop loss or else you wait for other movements so that you they create some level for you to get zones where you can place your stop loss either you can enter on this candle and place your stop loss below back to the range or wait still to break this range and uh, place your stop loss below that range or it then look for your target for your one to two or one to three this week I, I was very lucky I used to take one to two but this week I have been taking one to three with one loss and and four wins and here yeah, I uh, would have been rewarded that's cool let's analyze the coming week here is what I'm expecting but if you I use my line chart if my candlestick is very complex to look to look at levels I use my line graph that is one one level and the next will be here mm -hmm. yeah In this it's back on our level i'm expecting this market to drop drop down here so i'll wait i'll be waiting i'll be waiting for momentum to break for huge momentum to break this level And I'll be shorting below this level. I'll be shorting below this level. I usually enter my trades manually. I don't use sales stops, opening orders. That's what I'll be looking at for coming week for me to take this trade. If it doesn't take my direction, I'll be expecting it to come back here then should continue move up. Yeah, that has been our analysis for next week. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and also share. I'll be looking forward for your comments and tuning for future videos. Thank you. God bless you.